I, it's, it's just it's just hard to overstate how good Luisito has gotten. Yeah, so excited to our, uh, I'm familiar Luis. with Fear by Name. Oh, be, be Luis. Oh, sorry. Oh, Luisito did be Luis. The, Luis the Luis Showdown. Three owed Luis like two or three weeks ago, um, on Palu too. I think Luis got to change his name now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they <laughs> both be fighting Tonto. for the best Luis in Newark Cal title. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is Fear on the other side. This uh, is a matchup right here. Ooh, Steve Game and Watch. This is a matchup I haven't seen, and I'm actually kind of curious uh, how this interaction goes. I uh, this is a matchup I've played, so. <laughs> <laughs> tell yeah. me, tell me. I, does, right. does Game and Watch struggle to uh, to deal with blocks to, uh, to actually apply some pressure here? Or? Game and Watch has some struggles in the matchup. He's really good when Steve is a disadvantage, mm -hmm. but when Steve is just like in this neutral state, it's a little bit hard to get through the blocks, a little bit hard to find find the openings. Game and Watch generally a character that struggles like when their opponents don't like jump in the air and come yeah. to them. Uh, but right now, uh, wow, well. okay. I was talking a lot about Luisito, but Fear's like, hold on a sec. I'm so don't going worry, don't worry Super about it. Saiyan. Don't oh, worry about the Game Watch part of this matchup, man. though. This is all, you know. <laughs> all right, good avoidance there. That is actually a, a really, a really difficult setup to deal with when they when they put that on the uh, they put the TNT with the explosion mm -hmm. um, panel on the ground and then they go back on the ledge, ledge trump, get up attack. It's really, really strong. Deals with a lot so of active, get so much options. coverage. Yeah. Uh, right now, right, Lucito uh, starting to work it back in. Uh, managed to uh, survive that scary situation. About I, th I thought he was going. dead to that. Yeah, that it, F smash it's, for it's sure. Watch, I believe. Yeah. Uh, brought it pretty much all the way back here, only a 4% uh, separating them, and Lucito just content to chill with these bombs, say, all right, man, you, you want to set up the wall, you want to mine? Yeah, and but Lucito it's, trying to figure out what to do with this one so block. It's so difficult. When, once the one block's there, so normally normally characters will, like, try to jump over there and contest it, mm -hmm. but what Fear is doing is he's sitting behind the one block Ooh. with uh, the back facing. So if you if you try to go in, he's going to he's gonna short hop back air, mm -hmm. and it covers basically every option that Game & Watch can do, and there's a platform above. So really that single good. block feels like a bait kind of like, yeah. you can get past it, right? You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Come short, on just short hop over it. Short hop Door's over open. it. No problem. Open. Yeah. And uh, right here, <laughs> Fear uh, enjoying his time at the ledge right here. Luisito still, I think, trying to figure out how to safely do this. I think trying not to overcommit, playing it safe. Yeah. Uh, you know, until a uh, solution, until he has more confidence, I think, in a solution. I think, uh, I think Luisito has sort of uh, decided that he's going to, like, Fear is going to have dime in this game. He's going to have a lot of resources, mm -hmm. and that's okay. Because Game & Watch has a lot of tools to deal with. Uh, to deal with the diamond as well as to deal with the mine cards. Yeah, I think Game Watch probably uh, pretty solid in this matchup too at uh, dealing with uh, Steve's actual like Steve's normals, right? Mm -hmm, like jab, mm -hmm. jab is a lot less threatening, and Jab makes it a lot less threatening because Game Watch just kind of up be out of there, right? Like you yeah. don't have to engage uh, with whatever Steve is trying to do once he starts swinging around. And Luisito finally though taking that first stock, 144 on Game and Watch, uh, a pretty rare sight. But Luisito playing it safe and it's working out for him. Yeah, has not gotten hit by a mine card. Has not gotten hit by any big confirm yet. We've yeah. seen Fear fishing a little bit for grabs. That might kill at this percent on this stage, but it's hard to say. Yeah, and you see, uh, I think Fear, uh, Fear definitely doing a lot more to, I think, force yeah, things to happen. Luis Cito kind of letting it come to him. Finally, at 162, you can't be mad as uh, as Game & Watch going down, but yeah, I think Luis Cito just really kind of refusing to engage in bad situations, and Fear getting the resources, but not doing too, too much to uh, to make it feel bad for it, although really good this reversal is the start there. Of... That's, that's what happens when that cave is built. Steve's will build that cave behind them so they can tech it and almost instantly reversal with a fast move like up air. Yeah. yeah it's In incredible how many different things <laughs> this character can do. He's a very good character, <laughs> gotta say. Um, it, interestingly enough, Luisito played um, Apollo Kage Steve last night because mm -hmm. the matchup is very bad for Snake, so Apollo Kage cho chose to go Steve, and he went to, it went to game three, it was very, very close. So gotta, we gotta assume that Luisito is at least, at least competent in the Steve matchup if he's almost beating Apollo Kage's. Yeah. I mean, you know, at this at this point, if you're if you're a top player, if you're a PR level player, you, yeah. you have you have Steve experience and you know how these interactions work. Yeah, Not to say that means much sometimes, but I, I don't think we we don't have a ton of Steves in NorCal. Like in yeah. NorCal, we have Era and then Spot who's out sometimes. Yeah, Spot's in SenCal, so some very occasionally will come to stuff. But um, yeah, okay, gotta yeah. be careful with that. Yeah, still fine. And these two, honestly, playing it playing it pretty pretty slow. All right, uh, no. Nobody really forcing anything. Finally, you get a trade there, and <laughs> just gonna DBZ it. I, I it's back to very appropriate to the name that we have a DBZ situation. <laughs> I want to see more of those because the Kaioken times one thousand might come out. Oh, oh man, man. That, that was free commentary material right there. I'm surprised we have a. <laughs> we completely moved. It was uh, too much. I was. <laughs> it's too much to remember. It's too much. It, it was. It was. It was a long one. I, uh, next next, next, time, next DBZ, later. I'm gonna say the whole name. <laughs> Uh, okay. Right now, just spamming key blasts. Luisito, keep it up a check. <laughs> Jab on shield. This should probably be punished with a Yo! kill. Oh, just goes back and gets the <laughs> fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
somehow escaping that incredible pressure. <laughs> Game & Watch's jab is one of the funniest sounds in the game. It's just like beep, 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 beep. Just All right, typing though. that hot gas right on top of fear. Yes. Dropping down to last stock, though. Yeah. Uh, both these guys going hit for hit. Luisito, once again, just content. Not going to force his way through. Drop yeah, the bombs, Game avoid the card. Has not gotten hit with a card. No. Like, all game. Actually, yeah, that's that's crazy. Not a single card. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think I think Game Watch one of the best characters in the game at dealing with cards because he can use the bucket to just completely ignore them. Yeah. And he can also just you know go high around them very well. So, uh, one one of the things to note is Game Watch has no good grounded ways of dealing with blocks. Like, and that's yeah. why Luisito has opted to never try to contest them directly. He's always going over the top, trying to drop the bombs on top of them. Nair, but Nair that is gonna do it. Wow. What a dominant final stock for Luisito right there. I mean, yeah. just... Especially after the first one, felt like it was going all Fear's way. Suddenly, uh, suddenly Luisito had some things to say. Yeah, no, I think let's let Fear uh, kind of work himself into the corner there. Got a couple of quick conversions, right? The Nair drag done up B. Nair drag, uh, Nair drag done up B, right? Loop it a couple times, get that quick damage on, and then he never really found his way back down after that. Luisito just uh, taking full control of that stage. I think once you get Steve in the air, this matchup becomes a lot, lot better uh, for Game & Watch, right? Yeah. One of the most difficult characters to get down uh, against in general. Mm -hmm. And Steve definitely not not really having too much to help in that department. Minecart is sometimes it, but Luisito uh, especially especially good at, yeah, like we said, not not catching these, right? We also noticed no, almost no anvils because sometimes yeah. it's scary to anvil against oh, yeah. a don't character. Think one. Yeah, yeah because, one because of uh, the bucket. The bucket can reflect the anvil and kill you, but uh, it's 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 a little dangerous because sometimes you can hit the uh, Game Watch's head with the anvil um, because that is not protected by the bucket. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so got to got to be careful on both sides. But yeah, I, I mean, we have not seen that as a as a get out option, which is interesting. Usually, you at least see it as a mix up every now and then. But yeah. I, I don't think we even saw a single anvil as an attack. So. Interesting to see if we'll see that next game. Right now, we're on Town and City and already smashed the eye out of that jab and instantly up being. If you're not very tight on your combos, Luisito will make you pay. Oh, yeah. yeah Luisito got out to a pretty uh, early lead. A little bit of damage uh, fought back for Fear here, but the <laughs> way I love that Game & Watch dash. Oh, man. Game & Watch's dash is so funny. But yeah, notably back air, not beating the cart if it hits the bottom part of it. Um, I think it might, might hit Steve out if you hit the top, but definitely not at the bottom. <laughs> And Lucy still gonna try to close this out with the edge guard. Almost Good great tech. tech coming out of fear, yeah. And finally getting caught in a in a minecart, but not uh, too much of an issue. And that should, yep, be the first stock. Luis Cito looking strong, but be careful because Saiyans grow stronger through defeat. <laughs> All right, if he, if he doesn't that's, close that, this one out, that's kind of busted, dude. <laughs> why why do they keep getting stronger every yeah, time is. you kill them? <laughs> in real life rage. <laughs> real life rage. Or Fake life rage, I guess, in this game. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. It's uh, looking harder and harder for Fear to, uh, to sustain this, though. Kyle Ken does wreak havoc on the body and maintaining that 1,000 for this long. Uh, it's not looking good right now. Luisito starting to take big advantage and actually uh, pull away with a much more significant lead than we saw at any point last, uh, last, ga last game. Yeah, and I'm also noticing Lu uh, Luisito is, I feel like, using this stage a lot better than Fear is. Last, last time, mm -hmm. Fear used the platforms really well to hide behind with the blocks blocking him and the, and the platforms overhead. Now, it, it feels like that option is almost completely gone, as only the center platform provides that respite, but it's not its not really enough. And Fear has had a lot less time mining and hasn't been able to build up the diamond yet. Finally does build it up after mining it a while ago, but Luisito might get the oh. kill here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Game & Watch's head confirmed stronger than diamonds. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's made of metal, right? That's stronger <laughs> than diamonds, right? <laughs> nah, it's okay. And uh, right now, this is dangerous, right? Diamond, uh, Diamond, Steve, 100% difference, but that can get made up very, very quickly. 1,000% difference, even if you're in, <laughs> if you're in the right Kyle Ken. <laughs> and then, yeah, Lucy to the content to. Uh, oh, that was close. Use this drift. Use he this might have died there. 45%, probably, probably dying to Potent Diamond Death. Potentially, smash. yeah. Sadly, yes. Yeah. But Super Saiyan percent now for Luisito. <laughs> that's the that's the way to counter the Kyle Kens. And now back air <laughs> off stage. Does avoid the minecart once again. An interesting back air trying to trying to catch Luisito go a little too aggressive. And once again, though, Fear mining his way back into this game now. Luisito, I will say, doing a pretty good job overall of uh, maintaining good aerial spacing. But yeah, a couple of those quick diamond punishes are going to uh, eviscerate most of what that lead was. 153, not quite enough, and going to get hit with the cart. Uh, almost kicking that back air. But this is where it starts to get scary for Luisito, right? Uh, kind of a loss of what was significant momentum. All right, that's going to feel a little bit better for him, though. Yeah, let's see if Luisito's gonna try to try to deny this uh this and diamond again. Being built. And yeah. again. Oh man. The Game of Watch tax comes out, but the diamond <laughs> does get built. So at least uh at least for fear they have something to work with now. But it's it's difficult against Luisito who has 
who has been playing so well against all of these powerful Steve tools. And the dash tech, the solid call for Steve up there, not quite gonna do it. I don't think I've oh, ever seen Steve up there kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... Lucito, yeah, finding his way back, just using these platforms. Knowing Steve's not gonna do too much uh, to threaten him from up there. And again, that oh, I thought we were gonna see the uh, the nair off the top one yeah, more time from Lucito. Again. That was how the first game ended. And Ooh, okay, Forder all the way across the stage and seventy five percent. I mean, has a diamond built up. That's a uh, that's pretty much as as good as you can ask for for fear after the first stock. I mean, now. Yeah. Now we're seeing. Let's see if Luisito gets a little antsy here. Has been playing pretty safe and defensive all game, not really forcing the issue at all. But when you're so close to closing out the game, got this 75% lead, this is when you can start to get a little antsy. Yeah, I, I think Luisito is going to play relatively safe here. But at the same time, you know, sometimes it's good to mix up. Sometimes it's good to go a little aggressive. However, Fear is just content to sit back, farm up these resources, has maxed out iron already. So not getting too much there. Just uh, going to throw out an anvil every now and then and see. Uh, yeah, rebuild up the diamond maybe. So they have their pickaxe once again, but oh man, it feels like almost nothing has happened for an entire minute now because they've been so <laughs> careful about not en not engaging too crazily. But, uh, the two bomb minutes and 22 seconds left. Very unlikely we're going to see a timeout this game unless unless Luisito decides he does not want to does not want to play the game at all. Yeah, I highly doubt it. Luisito, uh, yeah, playing safely but still uh, still creating real threats here, right? Yeah, That's I mean these look. these landing airs, these back airs are all a you know, a potential to set up for an edge guard, potential to set up for something big, and yeah. Oh, I love that down smash cover, trying to get the roll out. That is that is something that Luis, Luis Tito likes to do. He uses the uses the forward air on shield. Mm -hmm. If they shield it, sometimes they'll grab, sometimes they'll throw out a down smash because he knows if it, yeah, if you if you try to roll away, the down smash is likely to cover it. Or if you try to jump out, sometimes you'll get covered with that too. Instead, I'm just noticing that Luisito uh, has almost never tried. To, <laughs> I was gonna say almost never tried to dash tech. Uh, really preferring to use uh, this this kind of aerial drift. Uh, work his way around, up B, uh, when in danger, knowing Steve isn't going to be able to follow too well. Uh, but interested to see if we see, uh, you know, any kind of mix up there to try and force a grounded approach that Fear might not be expecting. But right now, don't just. I think Luis Cito should try to go for the timeout. If I was Luis Cito, I'd be going for timeout here. But okay, never mind. He doesn't nah, need it. No, nah, no, nah, no. He doesn't do need here. it. We don't do that. Falls here. right there, and yep. <laughs> Congratulations, Luis Cito, getting that 2 0. And honestly, I think Fear was, was a really scary opponent there. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, even when Lucito started to pull ahead, you know, pretty down, you never, never quite felt safe, right? Never mm -hmm. quite felt out of the woods. And uh, Fear, I think, also, you know, doing a similar job of not, not force anything, content to take the resources if you're going to let him get them. Uh, 